Hello there, YouTube. Back for another beer review. This is a new one in the NSLC. It is one from Granville Island Brewing out of British Columbia. It is the Kitsilano, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, the Kitsilano Maple Cream Ale. All right. And it says it is brewed with a hint of pure Canadian maple syrup. Our Kitsilano Maple Cream Ale, smooth tasting, blah, blah, blah. Pair it with barbecue ribs or roast beef, apparently. 5% alcohol by volume. So they seem to name a lot of their beers after actual, um, I think they name all their beers actually after uh, locations in, uh, where are they out of? Vancouver, yeah. So. See what we think. Yeah, that's uh, that's sort of coppery, almost red in color, really. Yeah, it's getting somewhere there. It's sort of a dark, dark copperish color. Red highlights. Uh, a little bit of a off-white head there. So we're right to the aroma. Getting a little bit of malt up front. It's kind of nondescript. Um, barley malt I guess maybe a teeny bit of caramel quality to it but little teeny bit of maple when they say a hint they're not kidding as far as the aroma goes just a little bit in the background this little ghost of maple yeah it doesn't smell bad All right, we'll go right to the chief drink. Cheers. We'll see what we think here. Kind of thin on the mouth. Oh, approaching medium bodied. It, it's upper light, I guess. Right up front, you get a bit more maltiness. Um, just a, again, a sort of a caramel malt slash nondescript malt taste. Um, and it immediately goes to the uh, maple. Um, the maple is there. The maple syrup. It's still, it's fairly faint. It's just enough there, a little bit of sweetness to balance out. Um, there's some hops in the background, and the the overall um, maple flavor that this is quite earthy. It tastes authentic. Um, doesn't taste like uh, your sweetened maple syrups or your um, fake maple syrups with lots of corn sugar and shit dumped in them. You know. You know what it tastes a lot like, honestly. Though, like I said, the maple character isn't big. I mean, it's just a sort of. Um, Almost nondescript sweetness, really. It, you could say it's maple. You could say it's slightly caramelized uh, malts because um, it honestly it tastes like an Irish red almost in a way. A bit, uh, although a, a very watered down one. Um, and it's not too far off from uh, Big Rock's uh, traditional ale and their warthog ale. Um, I think this is the second beer in a month or so that I've had that's been reminded me of those beers. It's not bad, but there's nothing. I mean, I'm getting a little bit more maple syrup now, so there's enough there to go, yeah, it, it is a maple ale of some sort, but really, it's still not too far off from those other beers I mentioned, and... It's not that great. It's okay.
But, you know, if this is supposed to be a seasonal or anything, it's nothing that special, really. Uh, it's just tastes more like another one of those sort of semi-pseudo craft thingies um, that you could take or leave. I could take or leave it. Uh, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, I was hoping for more maple. I was hoping for more flavor. I was hoping for a better beer overall. Instead, I just sort of got to buy the numbers you know, middle of the road kind of thing. So if it's a middle of the road beer, it's getting a middle of the road sort of rating. It's a three out of five. So Granville Island Brewing's Kitsilano Maple Cream Ale, three out of five. It's not bad. Pick it up if you got a few extra dollars.